As the booming of social media networking sites have begun, many users have unknowingly lost or compromised their values and manners. Some presents or projects an entirely different persona other than their true self for reasons they only know. These actions could be due to attention-seeking thoughts, unrealistic self-beliefs, or possibly just for self-fulfillment or pleasure. A peaceful morning, fellow citizens of the online world. What do you see on your screen? What things do you see first? Most people see a frog right away. If this is about you, then you have a straightforward personality. You try to be honest and direct with others no matter what. You're perceived as confident, trustworthy, and reliable. There are no hidden messages in your words, which is why people can trust your opinion and advice. Meanwhile, not so many people manage to spot a horse from the get-go. Those whose attention is first drawn to the horse are thoughtful individuals. If you're one of them, you have an analytical mind. You don't take things for what they seem to be. You have a critical approach to life and prefer to reach your own conclusion by the situation. Next picture, Cafalcos. What do you see? If the first thing you paid attention to was a couple looking at each other, then you're a romantic at heart. You really value the people in your life. Love and understanding mean a lot to you. Not to mention, you have a positive and friendly personality. Your inborn reasoning abilities can calm down even the most nervous or agitated people. On the other hand, if your attention was instantly drawn to a tree, you're the type who occasionally needs to be on their own. You love nature and solitude, but don't mind spending with your loved ones as well. Besides, you're a tactful person who avoids hurting others' feelings by all means. Thank you for your cooperation. Now that our minds have been energized, let us proceed to the main topic. Presenting the etiquettes on social media. From the keywords shown, etiquette refers to standards, behaviors, manners. Social media etiquette basically means our behavior on social media. Messenger, TikTok, emails, Facebook, among others. For us professionals, a common mean of social interaction is through email. So we shall discuss the etiquettes involved in this aspect first. Subject indicates the summary of our message. This means that it should not be long but contains a very brief detail pertaining to your entire body or message. We are reminded to use only capital letters when we need to emphasize a certain word or phrase. Very important thing also is we should make sure that we do not misspell words. If uncertain, we can do a spell check first before sending our email or messages. Let us be careful with our languages, photos and videos used or attached to our emails, as these are public and some have access to it. Of course, it is very important to indicate our information as sender, and the details should be written in a professional way. 
In my case, for instance, I could write real Yanera Falco. Using our aliases, code names is definitely a big no. Face-to-face -face conversation is totally different than communicating through social media. When we do face-to-face, -face, both the sender and the receiver can see the reactions, physical gestures, and non-verbal cues of each other, unlike in social media. That is why we need to be watchful of the use of smileys, emoticons, and abbreviations. We have to know the level of understanding or level of exposure of our recipients for us to be aware if a use of a particular abbreviation, for instance, is significant or appropriate. Prior to the end of this session, a great reminder for us is think before you post. Think. T. H. I. N. K. Think. Is the message true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? And most especially, is it kind? If your message passes this think criteria, then hit that send or post button because you are good to go. We are responsible for everything we post and everything we post will be a reflection of who we are. Thank you for your time, Kafalkos. May you have a blessed day.